Hello, my name is Alex Scott, Business Consultant at Intercad, and welcome to the second in a series of quick tips involving the topic of making the most of your productivity tools within SolidWorks. Today, we'll be looking at the Costing Template Editor. Now, effectively, the Template Editor allows users like yourselves to set up the basic information that would be required to run effectively the costing module effectively the whole templates that you would be running in the background so how does that work to activate your costing template editor shortcut you will need to go to start in Windows 7 all programs right down to the folder of your SOLIDWORKS SOLIDWORKS tools subfolder costing template editor that's the one that we need for today so when you select this what you will get is a dialog box that effectively brings up the information that would be required to set up in order to effectively make use of your costing module when you actually get around to using it. Now just to recap very quickly the costing module it covers two areas that is machine parts as well as sheet metal components. So this is how the costing template editor looks like when you start from the beginning. Let's expand this a bit here and since I do not have a template right now I could always start off with a new and create a cost template either for machine or sheet metal parts. Hit an OK here and you can start to define the standards that you require, the currency, what kind of definitions for the uh, currency definitions here, um, different setup costs, materials, thickness and the different operations that will be associated to the particular type of operation that we are working on today. As I mentioned you could create new ones for both machine as well as sheet metal parts. Now what I'm going to do today to expedite the process here is I'm just going to take a look at an example for the sheet metal component. What we have here is the overview of the general information that's been set up for a component. Setup cost, you could always add new ones if as required. Material information, thickness of course as you can see here and the different costs that are associated to specific materials and variations that we might encounter right down to the machine and the operation that's affected. As we can see here for bands, for library features for example, things such as our form tools, punches, slots and so on and so forth. In addition, we also have the facility to enable custom processes that are not considered as part of the design but would have an impact on the final costing of a component. For example, additional welding work or powder coating like what we have over here. In a similar manner if we take a look at the machining template it's quite similar here as you can see except that you'll find the setup and stock material information might differ slightly from machine metal requirement and of course the different kinds of operations that are available. Once again we can drill down to the individual types of materials, machines and so on. So let's take a look at all the high-speed steel drill types the costing information and the associated references that we would have same for the library features and custom properties. Once you have defined all this information you will go on to save up your template and you would have created a new set of definitions. There's no limit to the number of course of templates that you can create per type of uh, category of parts for your sheet metal and machining parts here. So to recap, the costing template editor effectively allows you as a user to define the basic information that we would require as input for our costing module before running anything. Um, as a reminder, the costing template editor which taps in directly into the uh, costing module applies currently to both machine as well as sheet metal part data. One final point I should highlight here is that the costing module which goes in conjunction with the costing template editor is only available for users with SOLIDWORKS professional and premium packages alone. Users of SOLIDWORKS standard currently will not have access to the costing module or the costing template editor. For more information on the costing module or costing template editor or any issues related to SOLIDWORKS, please feel free to contact Intercad as always at the numbers shown through email 
all over the internet. As always, my name is Alex Cock, business consultant at Intercat, and this has been a quick tip session proudly brought to you by Intercat. Thank you.